Welcome back to another episode of Camper Hack. Today, we're gonna paint the roof. So we're gonna do the intro inside of the old camper today. The temp is about 70 degrees outside, and for Alaskans, that's like 11 billion degrees, so. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hide in the camper a little bit. It's pretty well insulated. And uh, the sun went down enough to where we're kind, of, we're kind of in the shade, so we're not going to totally die while we're out there. But it's another reason why we're going to add a couple coats of this Henry Durabright is elastomeric roof coating. Why did I choose this? Well, mostly because it was the cheapest kind on the shelf that I could find at the old Home Depot. I'm sure, you can find it cheaper, but I think I paid like $34. Uh, this isn't the RV rated, I believe. I mean, they say on the website that you can use this on your RV, but doesn't say that on the can here at all, but they do make a specific one for RVs, and that's like $72 or $74 or something ridiculous like that, and I don't want to. So, we're going to go ahead and give this stuff a try. It says it's good for rolled roofing, build-up roofs, and metal roofs. And, well, we got a, we got a metal roof, and uh, right now it has some peeled, that peeled uh, metal paint which is the other stuff that you can use, but we're going to try this acrylic white. It says that it reflects about 70% of the UV, uh, yeah, retain 70% initial reflectance. So, so it should stay pretty cool in here, uh, cause that roof does get extremely hot in summertime. And also this being an acrylic coat, yeah, if there's any pinholes or, yeah, if there's any pinholes, it should fill them and we should be good on the watertight front uh also while it's getting banged up and scratched on our overland trip this summer it'll provide an extra added layer of protection plus if you recall in other episodes we did a couple uh seal jobs little patch jobs and so this will help seal that in and just hold everything together <sighs> okay it's time to bust out and see what we got to complete this job you're going to want to clean your roof surface uh, I power washed it a while ago, not too long ago, and uh, it didn't look too bad, so we're just going to go ahead and throw the broom on it, brush off any kind of debris and shit that's flowing around. You're also going to want your paint, of course, paint roller, only little paint trays, some clever device to pop your top, and a paint stirrer. So I'm going to go ahead and stand here and do something like this for five or ten minutes off camera and get the paint all mixed up.
I'm just gonna have to cue you guys in every once in a while because there's no no place to put you when I'm painting up here that you can see everything. So we got the first coat down. It's drying pretty quick, so we're just gonna go ahead and lay it on thick. Okay, I think we got it well enough for our purposes. A couple of coats. I think that took very long. Probably didn't wait long enough between coats. But the roof is pretty warm and it seemed like it was drying pretty quick. I think it looks a lot better, a little more uniform. Not that you can really see it from the ground, but I'm hoping that this does what it's supposed to do. It keeps a little more dry, a little more protected, reflects some of that heat. All right, so I finished painting probably three weeks ago now, so I've had a little bit of time to let that uh, roof paint dry, cure, and I've got the test on it a little bit, taking it out camping two times now. And I gotta say that Henry Paints does exactly what it's supposed to do. It keeps the roof nice and cool. Not just cool, but like cool to the touch when it's all hot out outside, which is kind of nice. I actually ordered a uh, infrared temperature gun that should be here in the next couple of weeks. So maybe we'll do a follow-up video or maybe I'll just post it down in the comments or description what the actual temp is of the roof when it's hot as hell outside. Um, that should be an interesting video. But I can say it, it, it is nice and cool in here. In fact, the other day, when it was super hot outside, I came into the cooler, or came into the cooler, came into the camper to get something, and it was actually cold in here, uh, which was really nice. Um, so I'm happy with that paint. So if you're thinking about using some Henry's roof paint from Home Depot, or you can get it online, Amazon, you can get it pretty much anywhere. I think it's some common paint to use. I'd say go ahead and get it. It's about $34 or so. And actually I haven't checked the roof in a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and hop up on top here, show you how it uh, has been withstanding the rain and elements for the past few weeks. It's just a little dirty now, as you can see from the last update on the video. Definitely got some tree crap on there, but it is holding up. See where the water puddles up over there. Go ahead and show you from the other side now. Here's how she looks from the other side here. Patches are still nice and covered and holding up. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, since uh, since I did the roof, I also painted the exterior of the camper. So I gotta get back in the editing room and get that one out to you next. So you definitely wanna subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, so you can check out that video when it comes out. And uh, if this is your, if you're just now tuning into the Camper Hack series, I got a few other videos you gotta check out too, so better get on that. And uh, if you found something useful, in this video, like maybe you were looking for that Henry's paint and just wanted to know general impressions, go ahead and smash that like button. Now, um, if you've been following along on the camping series, camper hack series, just smash that like button. Get this content out to other people that might find it useful or entertaining. But in the meantime, I gotta get back to work, guys. So thanks for sticking around this long. We'll see you on the next one.